A high-bothering Vatican ambassador working in Washington has been reviewed to Rome after the U.S. State Department said the minister may have damaged Kidironic entertainment laws. In an announcement the Vatican said that the State Department had advised the Holy See in August of a conceivable infringement of laws identifying with Tyke explicit entertainment pictures by an individual from the political core of the Holy See authorized to Washington. A representative for the State Department said the U.S. had asked for that the man's discretionary invulnerability be postponed to open the route for conceivable arraignment, however the Vatican cannot. The minister, who has now come back to Vatican City is anticipating the result of the Holy See examination. RT reports. The anonymous Vatican negotiator came back to Rome after U.S. prosecutors requested the cleric to be charged and confront trial. The State Department additionally asked the Holy See, the body in charge of the administration of all Catholics, to cancel the man's discretionary and susceptibility on August 21, yet this demand was denied, reports AP. Vatican prosecutors have opened their own examination concerning the charges and are looking for proof from the U.S. The negotiator is associated with having tyke smut, including pictures of prepubescent youngsters. In an announcement, the Vatican affirmed that the State Department had told it of a conceivable infringement of laws identifying with Tyke erotic entertainment pictures by an individual from the discretionary core of the Holy See certified to Washington, Reuters reports. The Catholic Church is no more odd to reviewing ministers associated with either sexually mishandling kids, or getting to kid erotic entertainment. In 2013, it reviewed then envoy to the Dominican Republic Monsignor Joseph Vesilovsky following assertions that he sexually manhandled young men on the island. Vesilovsky was defrocked following a trial at the Vatican's criminal court, losing his political resistance all the while. However the Vatican, which has no removal bargains, neglected to give Dominican experts any piece of information as to his whereabouts or how he argued to the charges. Pope Francis who at first guaranteed a zero-resistance arrangement for sex manhandle, has been scrutinized for the absence of advance in managing the issue by survivors, their backers and human right gatherings. As of May this year, the Vatican had a build-up of 2,000 cases relating to charges of sex mishandle by clerics, 